Yes, or, or stories, uh, storytellers. Storytellers are experiences. So yeah, that's what I do. I open up my book and my diary. I'm reading my diary, to you, my diary to you. You know, you know what else I when I used to do when I was a child, I used to read diaries, a lot of diaries, and guess whose diaries those were. You know that eternal love transcends all time and space vectors, right? Because there's no time when you're at the still point of first creation. So I used to read personal diaries of soldiers that served in the military during World War II. I served in trenches, um, both in the Pacific with the United States Marine Corps Army Maybe those folks are out there fighting against the Japanese. Um, and I spent a lot of time on the on what was known as the Eastern Front, the Russian Front, when the Nazis hit Poland, right? And Army Group North, Army Group Center, and Army Group South. You know, remember when, uh, what's his name? The uh, Panzer Commander was within 20 miles. Actually, they got, they actually, some of their battalions actually made it into Moscow. Um, but they took a big part of their armored stuff down south, and that was Paulus, Field Marshal Paulus, who went right into Stalingrad. I read diaries of Stalingrad. That was a, a that was a, a loose eating machine. The level of sacrifices in that place. I read the diaries on both sides. Both Russian, Russian families, and a German. Actually, everyone that served. I studied that that particular battlefield intensely, as a, from a spiritual point of view. Of uh, blood loss, Walter's loss. So I was right there in when when some a conscious unit you know, of consciousness transcribes because they're transcribing into their cellular record that goes into a record. They're conscious that they experience that. When they put it directly into a diary, then they're they're providing the time and the coordinates of exactly where they were at when they were experiencing when it's 40 degrees and these guys don't have any shoes on. You know, their, their, their feet are, are so severely frostbitten, it's ridiculous. This is spiritual torture and physical harm and emotional harm on a horrific level, obviously, isn't it? Notwithstanding all the rest of it. So I'm there with them at that moment. So I cannot transmute something with eternal love if I don't know where that place is to experience where you're at. Because the energy that your consciousness used to put it into record, we have access to that. Because eternal love transcends all time and space. Wherever we are, that light is. So you see why I spent so much time. The first lady that I was with, where are you spending so much time on military and war stuff? Right? I can't transmute it if I don't experience it directly. But if I experience directly, just like remember the sensing level, I'm experiencing what you're experiencing. If I'm experiencing what you're experiencing across all time and space vectors, and you've experienced all that suffering, right? Shattered crystals. How about pulling them back in to experience being whole, back into the, the first star? Right? And uh, so that's an eternal gift. Because I don't waste my time and energy on a healing mission. So when I'm reading into those, that's map reading across time and space vectors. Because the consciousness that was experiencing it, transcribing it into their record, put that record in place for me to experience it in the future. So I did. And I went back 
to that event location. There isn't any time, but you're there, so I'm there. So that's like, wow, you made a lock. It's it's like a phase lock in a way, yes. But it, it just means that love transcends all time and space. You change, it, it, it's, a, it's transmutation. What was once there is not there anymore the way it was there. It's been healed. Okay. That's um, that, that's a speed thing. That's it's it's uh, it's an it's an it's an energetic um, gift. It is an eternal gift. Yeah, it is. So I thought I'd share that because I experienced that. So that's what I do. I open up, and share my stories. We all know you want to get to know somebody, listen to their heart, let their heart speak and hear, and hear what their heart and soul spirit has to say about what they experience, right? That's how we, that's how we get to know one another on a deep level, on a heart to heart level, soul to soul, eyes to eyes, right? Now you get to know me better because you're not sitting in this room with me, see, so you got to view me remotely. I just put this up, it loads it, and now your consciousness can experience what I'm experiencing on here. And so I just I just share these stories because uh, we're on a spiritual battlefield. So we're learning through each so we're all learning through each other. Right? Lessons learned. We know about ex- lessons learned and, and expecting a different result and then repeating patterns that lead to the same kind of results in the future that weren't being learned in the past. And how that relates to the speed of learning, particularly when she talked about that with the Elohim in that uh, Egypt lecture about, well, I approach it sort of, uh, you know, the quantum probability function and predictive programming. If I let you loose, how do I know you're not going to do something? I got to come back later on and fix it. That kind of stuff. In other words, how much can I trust you? Whoops. It's like we created a fifteen de- de- a fifteen d grid. Have fun, and then you come back and find out it's been wrecked. Taking full responsibility for it because we're all in it. There isn't any separation. So meekly responsible. Now I'm back to my childhood. I keep losing more of everything I'm getting love to. That's me that's losing that. I'm not supposed to lose that. I'm not supposed to experience that. I know what it's like to experience a God will matrix. That means that everywhere that we go, everyone is experiencing being what love is. Everyone is being loved. There isn't anyone, anything, there isn't any life that is not experiencing what love is. It all is. Everywhere. So it's seamless. You don't know, there is no tape delay. Everything is real time. Because it's pure light. It's eternal light. That's why when I was a child, I'm not supposed to experience this. There has to be some logical reason why I'm experiencing something that isn't what love is. That's the first question I had when I was four years of age. So it didn't take me long reading a newspaper. I'm on a spiritual battlefield. So I, I, it's like I had my marching orders. It was written in stone. It was written in the Rosetta Stone. I'm a rose. I'm a pink rose. Absolutely. So, um, so when I look at a girl, I'm everything that you are, and you are everything that I am, and we're both the same, one and the same. We're joint. We join forces. We're one. That means we're equal unto one another. Okay, neither 